Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with another comic book haul. Hope you enjoy these. These are a little shorter than the old school comic hauls. But please uh, check out my uh, playlists for the older comic book hauls. They were a lot of fun to do and people really liked them. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so 1967. We got an old one here. Um, but yeah, Avengers 42. Little chunk taken out there. But yeah, I, it's complete as far as I can see. And, uh, and beautiful. Complete with wondrous art, you know. And I do read these, you know. But I guess uh, I did not read this one. <laughs> but we got the early work of John Buscema on here, to my knowledge. And, uh, yeah, he was more kind of like Kirby-esque back in the day. Please correct me if, I was, if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, people really love uh, John Buscema. I grew up more on Sal. But, yeah, I like his uh, Conan work when I see it. That's for sure. Okay, 1988. Indies from the 80s. From First Comics, Grim Jack, 18... And, uh, yeah, dude's drawing a sword, and there's a tank underneath there. But uh, looking forward to really diving into Grim Jack. I hear nothing but good stuff about it. And um, I, lo I love first comics, uh, uh, first uh, publishing from the 80s. So, yeah. I guess Grim Jack, I think, makes his appearance in first appearance in uh, the Star Slayer series from first. So, you know, looking forward to that. Um, here's one that's a truly independent. And uh, it's, it's um, just came out this year. It's, Hor it's Horace H. Hoover. Horace H. Hoover. A detective... From the 30s, I believe. It's by uh, Fabricio Aiello, who's a great guy. Guys, sub up his channel. Um, he comes on normally Sundays, and he starts drawing, and he starts he's so down to earth, you know. But this is a this is a library. Pretty cool, right? Um, that Horace had to go and, and and find information about this obscure demon. That, to help a friend, or not a friend, but just someone he knows that is uh, being possessed, and it's really it's it's def it's light hearted, but it has some depth to it, you know. And this is number two in the series. I guess he's a self publisher now, you know, and I like it. I like this weird occult stuff. Um, you know, I love detectives trying to find out about the occult. Trying to find, you know, solve the mysteries of the cult and stuff like that. <laughs> Look at this. So, uh, yeah. There's that. We'll do this one really quickly. Um, it's 1986. And it's uh, Alpha Flight 34. These are all random. I just pull randomly from, from my collection. And as I said, this is more Sal Buscema. I don't know if, I don't, this doesn't look like a Sal Buscema um, cover. But I guess the cover is, I mean, the, uh, it's written by Bill Mantlo, who I enjoy. Um, I grew up on Bill Mantlo. So yeah, dude, some spacefaring action for you. Right there. And we had Wolverine on the cover. Not everyone loves Wolverine, but he's certainly a popular character, right? Very cool. So we got Alpha Flight 34, 1979, DC Comics Presents, number eight, Superman and Swamp Thing. Pretty cool. You Could Swamp Thing hold Superman back like that? I don't know, but um, like I always say, I'm not the biggest DC guy, but I'm slowly learning. I've, I've you know, don't let me kid you, I've read over the years, you know, the 
Justice League stuff from the 80s and and some other stuff. Martian Manhunter and, you know, of course, Batman. But, man, I have some YT friends now that could just break it all out for you, you know? <laughs> and that's pretty cool. But, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so we're jumping up in years a little bit. Um, this is uh, from Wildstorm Planetary, number eight. And uh, this is from the year 2000. And I'm very much enjoying this series. Um, I read the first 10 issues and I stopped and I backed it up. And now I'm at number eight again. Because <laughs> I just want, I like reading slow. I like uh, reading uh, a comic like this and really picking up the nuance. It's very cinematic for its time. It isn't, it isn't very heavy handed with uh, politics or anything like that. And. Um, you know, this one is about uh, some secret um, government military installation that uh, conducted experiments on people, on the unwanted people and, and stuff like that. And this, and this girl uh, has been alive in some half state um, due to weird atomic um, energy experiments on her. You know, she has this half-life of 50 years. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I like Elijah Snow, the main character. I like the other two characters. And yeah, Warren Ellis is always a uh, is always a good read for me, mostly. Plus you got this, you know, this really cool, like, pulpy uh, cover. And the last one we'll do today is uh, 1974. And it's Doctor Strange, number two, which I read this one, too. I think um, Doctor Strange gets stuck in the eye of Ogomoto, Agamotto. <laughs> I think I pronounced that right by now. But, yeah, you got some Frank, Frank Bruner art happening. And, uh, yeah, he's trying to escape this realm that he's in. So all these uh, characters, like the Defenders in the back of this comic here, are not truly the Defenders. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of, it was a lot of fun. I, I plan on reading this volume one of Str uh, Doctor Strange. If I could get my hands on the number one. I don't have number one yet. but um, So I just started on number two. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check out the playlist for uh, more comic book hauls. Um, please check out Thursday nights uh, for chaotic comic book cover displays and more with friends. It's my live show with uh, my friends. Check out Monday nights where we do a claim sale with Cheap Comic Book Collector. And that's it. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.